we see um, videos coming out of Iran in which the Iranian people are actually cursing the Palestinians. You hear it in in uh, Persian, uh, and uh, by extension, uh, condemning the regime. Absolutely correct. That's that's the exact point here, uh, Dan. You're correct. Despite conventional wisdom in the West, the Iranian people do not have the deeply felt sentiments towards the Palestinian cause that the regime projects. And this is primarily because of a number of reasons. The Iranian people did witness the arrival of Ayatollah Khomeini and the regime uh, largely supported and delivered at the hands of Yasser Arafat and the militant elements of the PLO at the time. The first person who visited Iran six days after the revolution, embracing and kissing Ayatollah Khomeini, was none other than Yasser Arafat. So 40 years later, Iranian people look back and see the role the Palestinians played. Fast forward two years, three years later, Iran-Iraq war. During that war, the Iranian people witnessed the same Palestinian leaders Yasser Arafat and his type were squarely on the side of Saddam Hussein in that brutal eight-year war that Iran had with Saddam Hussein, chemical warfare, killing and maiming of at least a million Iranians. So this was a second unfolding part of the experience Iranian people have had with the Palestinian cause. Fast forward today, past 20 years, we have Iranian children, little boys and little girls, who have to, in a very, very wealthy country, they have to scavenge and search through garbage pits, sleep on cardboard at night, six-year-old, seven-year-old boys and girls. Why? Because billions that should be spent on those kids are being siphoned off and sent to support, quote-unquote, Palestinian causes. And mind you, not only Palestinian cause, but the most violent, the most vile, the most venomous and vicious elements of uh, the Palestinian leadership. So when it comes to the Iranian people, the Iranian streets, the position is I and the Iranian people first and then others in the region.